Welcome to e-commerce store in PHP and MySQLi with Bootstrap. Friends, as you know that uh, we are making this kind of e-commerce store totally from scratch. So it is the second video of this course. I go to my this e-commerce underscore store page which I made in last video. I just wrote the PHP basic structure, sorry HTML5 basic structure. So friend from this video first of all I shall go to my browser and I go to my new Google Chrome browser and I shall download the bootstrap. So I wrote bootstrap and I shall click over the first link and here I click over getting started icon. And from this page, I shall download this download bootstrap. I click over it. And I saved it in my downloads. Inside the downloads. So it has been downloaded. I go to my computer inside the computer and I go inside the downloads. And this is the bootstrap 3.3.7 version. So I open it with WinRR Archiever. I open it and I shall extract it inside once again Amjad and inside the downloads. So I click over OK. It will be extracted and it has been extracted now. So now I close it. I open it this version and now I go inside the CSS folder I click over it and I shall copy this bootstrap.min.css I copy it and I go inside my local disk eg now I shall go inside the XAMPP inside the XAMPP files inside htdocs and inside ecom underscore store and this is a styles folder now I shall go inside the styles and here I paste it. Paste that bootstrap.min.css file. I go back to downloads. Once again I go inside the bootstrap folder. Now I go inside the JS and I copy bootstrap.min.js. I go back to my eg local disk. Once again as usually I go inside the XAMPP files inside htdocs and inside ecom underscore store and inside the js folder so here i paste that copied file bootstrap.min.js once again i go back to downloads inside the bootstrap and now i go inside the fonts now inside i copy the complete fonts folder so i copy this folder i go to my eg local disk and inside the XAMPP files, inside the htdocs and inside the ecom underscore store and here I shall paste it that fonts folder. This is the fonts folder, the bootstrap fonts. So all these fonts are inside it. So friend now I go to my notepad plus plus code editor. Now I shall attach that bootstrap file. So I make the link tag first link r of is equal to double cards styles folder backslash bootstrap dot mean dot css because this file is inside the styles so friend I show you that this is the style main folder style and inside this bootstrap dot min dot css which i have linked it here so here i write relation rel is equal to double cards style sheet so here i make one script tag write above the closing body tag for 
attaching the JS file. Script start, script close, src is equal to double cost js main folder backslash bootstrap dot min dot js. So I have included this file here. I show you that this is the js main folder and inside it bootstrap dot min dot js. I have attached this file with this my index.php file. So now I go to my Chrome browser and this is that page. I refresh it. You will not see any change here because I have not written anything here. Otherwise, this, those two files have been attached. So friend, now I click over new tab and here I write font awesome and I click over the first icon Fort Awesome. This is the Fort Awesome website. So I, I shall download it. So I have clicked over it. So I will click over it. No thanks, just download Fort Awesome. Duplicate because I had already this file so I click over start download now close I go here inside the downloads so when inside the compressed so this is the fort awesome so now I shall copy this one First, I open it in WinRR Archiver. So now I extract it. Inside the object, inside the downloads. Now I click OK. Yes to all. And now I close this. This is the font awesome folder. I click over it. Now I shall copy this CSS inside the CSS. Friend, inside the CSS, I shall copy this font awesome file. Font awesome. Font awesome dot mean dot CSS. Now I shall copy it. Now I go to my local disk, e.g., where the XAMPP software has been installed. So I go inside the XAMPP files, inside the htdocs, inside the ecom underscore store, and inside the font awesome folder. And here I make new folder on the name of CSS, and inside this CSS folder, I shall paste it. Now I go back to downloads and once again inside go inside the compressed and inside the font awesome folder and here now I shall click over fonts fonts folder I copy the complete folder and I go back to my local disk eg and now I go inside the XAMPP files inside the htdocs and inside the ecom underscore store and here I shall go inside the font awesome and here I shall paste that folder now I go to my notepad plus plus And now I shall link those files here. Link harf is equal to double cards font dash awesome folder backslash CSS backslash 
because CSS is folder is inside the for dash awesome and inside the CSS font dash awesome dot mean dot CSS relation is equal to double cards style sheet now I go to my Chrome browser and I refresh this page you will not see any change here because I have told you that I have not written anything inside this body tag therefore no change is being made here so now I open the new tab click over home button now I go to jQuery jQuery website and I wrote jQuery.com inside the Google and this is the first link over which I will click so I click over it so friend this jQuery site has been open so now I shall download this jQuery version version 3.1.1 So I shall download it is compressed version compressed production jQuery 3.1.1 so I have opened it in new tab so I shall copy it or save it as save as you can directly download it also so I go to my local disk eg and as usually I go inside the XAMPP files inside the htdocs and inside the ecom store and inside the js and here i shall save it on the name of jquery.min And this is that file which has been saved jQuery.min.js and JS is it is extension which has been included automatically because it is the JS file so now I shall include this file here I go to my notepad task plus code editor and once again I write the script tag right above the remaining first one script tag script start and script close space src is equal to double cards js backslash jquery dot min dot js so this is the jquery file which has been included in this index.php file so now I press ctrl s to save so now I go to my chrome browser and this is our page which has been opened so I refresh this page so friend still you will be watching that there, there is no change because I have not written any code inside the body so this video has been made enough lengthy and I think it is enough I shall come back in next video so first of all I close all these websites which were open during the creation of this video so in next video I shall come back and I shall do the remaining work I also make the clear all of this download two files so goodbye till next video